doctor will see you now. I've already primed my face using the NYX Angel Veil Primer so the first thing I'm going to do is apply my foundation. I'm then mapping out where the needle is going to go and I'm just using liquid latex and tissue to create a tiny hole that I can stick the needle into later. I'm first applying the latex and then adding the tissue on top and then fully saturating the tissue in latex and using my sculpting tool to sculpt around the needle. I'm then adding bruising to the whole of my face because I'm adding bandages and I'm not really sure where I'm going to go with this look I'm just doing my whole face as it'll save time trying to do it in certain patches later When you're using a bruise wheel you always want to start off with the lightest colour and then build up to the darkest colour I'm blacking out my entire eyelids and then blending that out with some Kat Von D eyeshadows I'm making my eyes look as dark as possible and I'm also blending out some kind of reddy brown colour to make them look irritated and infected. Just gross basically. I'm then shading around the mouth as I'll be drawing the teeth over the top of this. I'm also using that same eyeshadow to contour my cheeks with. So if you've seen my rainbow clown school tutorial, you'll know that unfortunately in that tutorial absolutely none of the bit where I was doing the teeth was actually in shot. So that is why I'm doing a skeleton mouth for this tutorial. Using black face paint I'm drawing a line directly through the centre of the mouth. This is the base of where I'm going to be drawing the teeth from. On the inner part of my mouth I'm using black liquid liner, if you're using face paint and drinking it'll obviously wear off. I'm then using a white face paint to draw the teeth on, I'm starting off at the centre of the black line and kind of drawing almost like a little circle shape and then kind of flicking it up to get the teeth shape. After I've got the shape of the teeth I continue to add white face paint to make them more opaque. I'm then taking black face paint on a super thin brush to individually line each tooth. The skull mouth I've created isn't anatomically correct, obviously. It's just literally a simple mouth for face painting purposes. Towards the inner part of my mouth, I'm using that black liquid liner again. I'm then going over the teeth with a white liquid eyeliner to make them more opaque and brighter. For this kind of dead zombie nurse look, I would probably dirty up the teeth a little bit, but because obviously I'm trying to recreate the mouth from the rainbow skull, this is why I'm doing it exactly the same as I did in the other tutorial. I'm basically just trying to make up for that huge error. <laughs> okay, so the teeth are done and that latex has been drying this whole time, so I'm applying some foundation over it and I'm blending it into the skin. I'm then adding bruising to match the rest of the face. To attach the needle I'm applying spirit gum to the end of it and also spirit gum into the hole I've created and then just kind of holding it into place for a while. To make it kind of sit better on the face I'm adding a little bit of liquid latex to the back of it so it's got almost like a little base to stand up from. To make sure it sets in the position that I want it to, I'm then using a hairdryer just to speed up the drying process. I'm smudging my eye makeup using gel liner on a cotton swab. I'm adding redness and bruising around the wound and then I'm also drawing on these little veins as well. Using grey and black eyeshadow, I'm adding a little bit of shading around the mouth. I'm adding a little bit of blood to the skin just so when I put the bandages on, because I'm not sure exactly where I'm going to go with them, there will at least be some blood kind of coming from under the bandages. I'm then popping my lenses in, which definitely makes this look ten times scarier. I'm adding a little bit of mascara to my natural eyelashes and then tight lining my lower waterline with black eyeliner. I'm using a hair grip to pin the bandage to the back of my head and then I'm just starting to wrap myself up like a little mummy. On my face I'm applying a little bit of spirit gum just so the bandages don't slip around as I'm moving my face. It just helps to keep them in place and keep everything secure. 
I want my nose to be covered, but I also want to breathe. So I'm ripping a hole in the bandage and I'm securing it at the back of my head using a bobby pin. I want the bandages to look all worn and like gross. So I'm just cutting little holes in them, ripping them up, just making them look as messy as possible. And then kind of drawing on a little skeleton nose and then just literally adding blood everywhere. This splatter spray is amazing for this because it can cover a large area really fast and really effective. To add different shades and textures of blood, I'm then just popping on a little bit of this dark stage blood as well. Gorgeous! So that's pretty much it for this Dr. Venom tutorial. If you like the video, then please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!